how did you get your start in the television industry? And really you you started at Rogers TV in Peel region, made your way up through CTV Kitchener, becoming the first reporter in North America to wear a hijab on air, became the first uh, anchor to host uh, City News Toronto again with a hijab on air, which is which is amazing. And now at CBC, let's let's talk about through that journey. Yeah, you know, a lot is made of uh, me getting my start on air at CTV Kitchener, but really even before that, Rogers TV was the one who, who put me on air first. Um, of course, it was a volunteer uh, position, uh, but I learned so much uh, through Rogers TV in Peel, working as a host. They also helped me get some videography experience, which was really vital to me landing my first job. Um, I started out in the industry as an intern at CTV Toronto, um, and that kind of opened the door for me to to get my first job as an editorial assistant um, in the newsroom there. And it was a huge learning curve. It's one of the largest local newsrooms in the country. Um, And I was working at the assignment desk. So, you know, uh, anyone who, who understands news, that is kind of the hub and and really the heartbeat of a newsroom. Um, You know, you're assigning cameras, you are fielding calls, um, you are trying to chase or um, set up interviews uh, and stories. So you're kind of um, where where the stories sort of begin. (laughs) Um, And so there's a lot of pressure to, um, you know, in in one of the biggest markets in the country. And uh, I learned a lot, made a lot of mistakes, but I was lucky to have people there um, who uh, really mentored me, you know, the managing editor there um, one of the, was one of the people who kind of gave me a chance and, and would, you know, help teach me and, and have patience when I made mistakes, which isn't always the case in this industry. So, you know, um, I, I did that for uh, about a year and a half. Then I moved on. I was a chase producer at CTV News Channel for two, three years. But in the meantime, I was also volunteering at Rogers TV in Peel because my goal was to be on air. That's something that I really wanted to do. And my first job in Kitchener, um, I applied for that job three times <laughs> before I got hired. So there's something to be said about persistence. And they did, you know, every time they turned me down, I would ask, you know, why or, or what I was, what skills I was still needing. And so they would give me feedback. And one of the feedback was that I needed more shooting experience, more videography experience. And that's where I went back to Rogers TV at Peel and said, I need to go out on shoots. And I need to learn to shoot and edit so that I can, I can beef up my, my demo. So yeah, so it was very formative for me, my time with Rogers and and my time in Kitchener. You know, my first on-air gig was CTV Kitchener in 2015. Um, You know, they finally got tired of saying no to me and and they decided to give me a chance. And uh, it was really exciting, but it was also really nerve wracking because here I was, you know, it was an exciting moment as a journalist to make that jump from behind the scenes to on air. And you're, you know, you don't want to mess up on TV and and make them think that they shouldn't have hired me, but also not knowing how the community was going to respond, how viewers were going to respond to me. I was the first woman in hijab to appear on television uh, as a reporter, not just in Canada, but in North America. So I had no idea what the reaction was going to be like, but you know, KW and the area, you know, Waterloo region really embraced me and welcomed me. And I was pleasantly surprised and encouraged by that. You know, I'd be out on shoots um, because I was a VJ, it would just be me and my camera. Um, I'd be out shooting by myself and people would come up to me. Oh, you're the new girl at CTV Kitchener. We love watching you. You're doing a great job. And so that was really encouraging because I realized that most people could see beyond what I'd chosen to wear and could actually judge me as a journalist. And that's something that, you know, has now extended to my new platform with Canada Tonight and, you know, Canadians across the country being able to look at our show for its content and and judge it based on that. So let's focus more on that. The 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 whole aspect of you being the the first person in North America to both be reporter and anchor wearing a hijab on air. How does it feel to be that person to break through, uh, to break to break the stigma and, and, and make that milestone? It is really exciting, especially because growing up when I was watching TV and I considered going into this field, I didn't have anyone that I could look to as a role model and say, I wanna be like her. 
right? I had to imagine myself in that position. And sometimes it's tough when you don't see people who look like you in those positions. It's, it's hard to imagine that you could be there and that it's a place that you could belong in and thrive in. Um, I'm really lucky that my family, especially my mom, was someone who encouraged me to go after my goals and my dreams um, and not let, you know, something that I'd chosen to wear be a barrier to that. And, you know, say just because no one else has done it doesn't mean you can't be the first. And so I had a lot of encouragement and support at home. Um, and, you know, it's, it's exciting, uh, but it's also, uh, there's a lot of pressure that comes along with it. It often feels like I don't have room to be mediocre. I don't have room to fail. I, I have to be excellent. Uh, I have to make sure that there is no other reason that someone can point to as to why I shouldn't be here other than my hijab. Um, and so, you know, there's a lot of pressure that comes with being the first and for a long time being the only, but at the same time, uh, you know, I, I feel like I cracked open the door a little bit, you know, after I worked at CTV Kitchener, um, at least two other women in hijab have been on air and television news in Canada, one being uh, Faria Nakbi Mohammed, who uh, works in Montreal for City Montreal, and Zarka Nawaz, who's known as the founder for, of um, the creator of Little Mosque on the Prairie. She was um, hosting uh, a 6 p.m. newscast in Saskatchewan uh, in 2019. I don't think she does anymore. But being able to see more faces like me, um, you know, so that the pressure isn't just all on me. I don't have to shoulder the burden alone. But also, you know, being able to say, hey, look, the sky didn't fall. And, you know, women who look like this can do this job and do it well, and it shouldn't be a barrier. What message do you have for those just starting out in the industry today M might might think that they just can't be on air just because of of their their background, their their uh, religious background, their beliefs, anything like that? What, what would you like to say to them? Yeah, you know, I think a lot has been made since, you know, Canada Tonight aired this week. There were a couple of op eds in some French newspapers about you know, the public broadcaster hiring a woman in hijab and, um, you know, questioning uh, whether I can be impartial when I'm, you know, making such a statement about, about my religion. I mean, I think at the end of the day, every single journalist, no matter what your background is, your faith, your religion, your upbringing, your education, all of those things inform how you see the world. And all of those things uh, impact the decisions that you make about how you tell stories, what stories you tell, which voices you choose to include. So I don't think that, um, you know, having this sort of public declaration of my faith uh, precludes me from being able to be impartial or objective uh, when it's needed. Um, but also at the same time, you know, I'm someone who has always been an advocate for um, representation in the newsroom. And that, that's just not, not just on screen, but behind the scenes as well. Um, in newsrooms, you know, I was shocked. Uh, when I when I walked into many newsrooms in this country over my the course of my 10 year career and seeing that the newsroom didn't reflect the society that I lived in or, or that I had grown up in, especially in Toronto. Um, we're one of the most multicultural and diverse cities in the world, but you wouldn't know it if you walked into the newsrooms in Toronto um, and, and the same across Canada. So. You know, I think all of those um, diverse opinions and, and experiences, uh, bringing those to the newsroom is a good thing so that we can challenge each other, so that we can, um, you know, have a diversity of uh, opinions on what stories matter. You know, I'm just one person on my show. I'm part of a team. Uh, we all sit together and, and pitch stories and ideas and decide what, what news we're going to tell every day or what news we're going to focus on. So, you know, I, I think that bringing my experience, whether you can see that I'm Muslim or not, is important um, because there are lots of people across the country who have similar experiences as me. And those are the networks that I tap into when I decide, you know, when I, when I think about what stories people are talking about. Um, and for me, my Muslim identity isn't at odds with my Canadian identity. And I think that's the important thing to, to show when I'm on air every night. I'm not talking about my religion. I'm not preaching about my faith. I'm just doing my job. And I happen to be wearing a scarf while I'm doing it. So you mentioned that with public broadcaster, at least being broadcasted through Quebec, uh, you, you, you've seen some feedback there. What has the feedback been like for Canada Tonight since it started back on uh, January 11th? And 
just how it's been across the country. Have you, have you seen positives, negatives? Yeah. What's really great is that the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. People are really excited to see something new and refreshing uh, on Canadian airwaves. And what's really great is, you know, beyond the headline of Canada's first hijab wearing, you know, anchor, people are responding to the content that we're putting on air, to the segments that we've chosen to do, to the guests that we've brought on. And I hear that over and over again, that it's a refreshing new take um, that they haven't seen in Canadian media, Canadian media. And that is really exciting for me. And so when I hear the criticism, most, if not all of the criticism has simply been on this, a piece of cloth, and none of it has been on the content of my show. And so, you know, if someone wants to write a review, a negative review about the show as a whole and what we're doing, I'm open to that. I'm, I'm open to hearing constructive criticism, but that's the problem is that the conversation is simply on what I've chosen to wear. And I think especially for women, for female journalists uh, on air, this is something that women deal with uh, no matter what they choose to wear. There is an obsession with um, our appearance. You know, we're, we're too revealing, we're too covered, we're, uh, you know, not serious enough, we're too serious, uh, we're smiling too much, we're not smiling enough. You know, I used to, I, I, there was a point where someone had tweeted me because my nail polish was chipped. And I thought, what does that have to do with the story that I'm working on? So I think in general, I would love to see less of an obsession with policing uh, women's appearance and more of a focus on our journalism. And, and you're exactly right. And, and I just wanted to say congratulations on, on your show on CBC and, and you deserve it 100% your, your travel through this industry. It's not an easy industry to climb up. It really isn't. And you've really shown that your hard work is really paying off. So congratulations. Thanks so much, Robert. Perfect. Well, thanks for meeting with me today. I really appreciate you taking the time and, and giving me the opportunity to chat about this and, and your start through Kitchener and Rogers yeah. TV and CTV, et cetera. And I had to make you. time for Kitchener because they're, <laughs> they're one of the first people who gave me a chance and Rogers TV for one of the first uh, places that gave me a chance. So, so glad to have an opportunity uh, to, to give you guys some time today.